Good morning, family. Good morning. Good Friday morning. As you guys know that this is Holy Week, leading up to the Resurrection Sunday of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, and of course, today is deemed to be Good Friday. Um, but there was something that I did wanted to share um, concerning the intercessors. And we are all intercessors. So I just wanted to just share this real quickly. And I believe that this was Revelation. Because uh, I was talking about this throughout um, the day. So I strongly believe that there are so many intercessors in the body of Christ. And then there are some intercessors that God has, you know, established for certain, you know, things, you know. You even have those intercessors that during the witching hours are praying against what witches and warlocks are casting spells concerning. And I strongly believe that God has assigned intercessors in families, at jobs, in the work field, in the White House, in the government. I believe that God has assigned intercessors in these specific places. In schools, there's intercessors. In the retail stores, there are intercessors. Even in the um, restaurant, food uh, industry, there are intercessors. But most importantly, there are intercessors that God has established in families. And um, I strongly believe that there are some intercessors in families that may know a little bit more spiritually than just a regular family member that prays on a daily basis. And I believe that it is our responsibility from the authority and the domain that the Father has given us to pray concerning our families. To, to pray. I feel like you should be encouraged by your, you know, family of preachers, you know, to pray against things that have become a generational situation in families for a very long time. You know, you may have a family that may deal with promiscuity, or, you know, you may have a family that deals with, you know, a sexual immorality type situation, or you may have a family that deals with a family that has had generations of people that had cancerous situations, um, STI situation, um, and even um, drug addiction, gang violence, gun violence, abusive. God has established intercessors all over the world and all nationwide. And it is our job as intercessors to pray. Not just to pray, but to fast. And at the same time, when it comes down to what God wants to do, not just in our personal lives, but um, in our families, it's important that when we go before God in prayer, that we hear what the Father is saying and what he's trying to do. And then you have some intercessors that also not only hear from God, but God shows them dreams. God shows them visions. So it's very important. And as long as we're doing our part and we're praying when we're supposed to be praying, Especially when we're feeling an urgency in the spirit to pray, things will begin to happen. We'll begin to see change break. We'll begin to see um, 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 STIs that, you know, the world and the medical field say that cannot be cured and cannot be healed, do it. At the end of the day, STIs, which is basically sexual transmitted um, um, infections that doctors say that cannot be healed or cured, Jesus is the cure. Did not Jesus heal leprosy? A disease back in the day that was no cure for? God can do all things but fail, but we put too much limitation. God can heal a, a, a daughter or a, or a mother from promiscuity, drugs, alcohol, same thing with that son or that brother. But in order for us to see these things, we can't just expect the Father to do all the work. We have to go before God. We have to pray. We have to believe. And we have to, if we got to fast, because I know the Word of God says some things come by prayer and fasting. 
Um, my woman of God, my, my, my first lady, my pastor, um, she says, pray about everything because prayer still works and it does. And I strongly believe that God has established intercessors in every part, in every situation, in every community, in every family, in every organization, in every industry, there are intercessors. And there are. So I want to encourage you, if that's you, which is really all of us, but if that's you, let's pray. Don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. HP 